Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make my easy crock pot chicken. For this recipe, I'm using 8 chicken thighs that I washed. And if you're not familiar with washing your meat, I usually use a vinegar or lime juice to wash my meat. To that, I'm adding 2 teaspoons of seasoned salt and this is the one I'm using. 1 tablespoon of complete seasoning. One tablespoon of consomme, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one packet of my favorite Goya seasoning, my Concolantro e Achote. I'm also adding three cloves of chopped garlic to that. Half cup of chopped onion, half cup of chopped green bell pepper, one and a half cup of chopped carrots, one and a half cup of chopped celery, and the last thing is one cup of coconut milk. And I'm just using the one from the can and a good tip for you is to freeze your leftover coconut milk. You don't have to worry about it going bad. Give that a stir until everything is mixed together. As you can see, I'm not putting any water in the pot but it don't need it. And because I wash my chicken so when it cooks it's going to release a lot of water. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. I'm also going to leave the link to my Amazon store below so you can get links to some of the seasoning I'm using in this video. Cover this and let this cook on high for 3 hours. I'm going to come back and stir it halfway through. Okay, now it's been an hour and a half and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it released a lot of water. I told you we don't need any water. But oh my goodness, I wish you could smell it at this point. Okay, now it's been three hours and it's done. Look how delicious this looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I could share with you guys. So if you're eating this with rice, this is perfect because you got a lot of gravy. Or if you're eating it with tortilla or whatever you want, that's up to you. But don't waste your gravy. And when this gets cold, it will get a little bit thicker. So don't worry about that. I love this recipe so much because I don't always like a lot of meat. I don't know if it's just a Caribbean thing but we like a lot of bony meat. That's how we call it with all the bones. My hubby always say why don't you get some more meat? You know you're eating a lot of bone. <laughs> and I always say I don't want the meat. <laughs> but when it's cooked like this I like it. Somehow the crab pot just does something to it. So, I hope you give this recipe a try. Let me know in the comments below, do you feel that way about meat cooked in the crock pot versus on the stove? Somehow the crock pot just makes it better. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for all your lovely comments. I reply to every single one if you've noticed. So keep them coming. I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.